Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sonet Television. We're going to take a look at a brand new product from the folks over at SoundOff. Okay, let's take a look at the units. It's the SoundOff SOETSA380R. And as you can see here, we've got a remote head unit and we have an independent amplifier and relay box. That's what's actually inside this particular housing here. It has all the relevant fuses set up along here. We've got 20 amp fuses on this side and 10 amp fuses on this side. On this side of the unit you've got the relevant connections for the remote head as well as to contact and communicate with the light bar or any other devices that you wish to attach to this unit. It's quite a nice amplifier unit. It's a 200 watt unit. Of course it's capable of running two siren speakers each putting out 100 watts or of course you can actually just run one siren speaker if you wish to do so. It won't damage the siren speaker the fact that this unit is capable of running a 200 watt two speaker configuration. It has a three position slider switch as we can see here and that's rated at 20 amps per position on that and then it has a total of eight programmable buttons up the top here and they're rated at 10 amps a piece and again these particular buttons in this area are programmable so you can select what you want these particular buttons to do and as far as the three position slider which I'm switching right now that will allow you to control your light bar or essentially a progressive switch so you want to have the front of the vehicle on the rear off and so forth you can do that by utilizing the three position slider switch as shown here again siren functionality is clearly marked here and of course this is also backlit as well it's not currently backlit of course and again you've got additional information that you can work here manual or horn and radio rebroadcast actually has its own independent button also comes with a mic as we can see here now again it will come with some other hardware and one of the hardware it comes with is a bail bracket so if you want to mount that in such a way like this hang it down on the dash or depending where you want to mount it, you can do that. You also can obtain an in-dash mounting bracket as well. There are face plates available for this product if you're going to be using it inside a console too. Other equipment that's supplied, of course, is your relevant connectors and plugs, as well as respective wiring that will be tied in to the area as shown here. Also, we have, of course, the legends, as shown here. And in this bag is, of course, the respective cabling that will allow you to run the remote head as remote. And then, of course, the box itself can be mounted anywhere inside the vehicle, inside the vehicle, that you're comfortable with. This particular product is not designed to get mounted inside the engine compartment or an area where it would, in fact, get wet. Now, the full technical specs on this unit are on the website, so go check it out. I'm Stuart, and you've been watching Sonar Television.